With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is the relative decrease in the vapor pressure of an aqueous solution containing 2 mole of. Now this complex is actually Cu NH3 thrice Cl. One Cl will be outside the coordination sphere, right? And it will be in 3 mole water is 0 0.50. So you are given the relative lowering in vapor pressure as 0 0.50. On reaction with AgNO3, this solution will form. Okay. Now, the first thing is to find out the Van Toff factor, right? The first thing is to find out the Van Toff factor. How are we going to do that? Now, if you talk about the mole fraction, then the mole fraction is given as the number of moles of solute that you are calculating the mole fraction for, right? Divided by the total number of moles, that is Na plus Nd, right? And since we have to find out the Van Toff factor, this will be into I, right? Now, the number of moles you are given as 2 mole. Right, this will be 2 divided by 2 plus what is the mole of solvent given to you? 3, right, and this will be into I. And what is the um, now? This is going to give you the mole fraction that is x. Now, you're also given the relative lowering in vapor pressure that is actually delta P by P, where delta P is the difference between the um. Vapor pressure of pure solvent minus the vapor pressure of the solution. Right, so this delta P by P is going to is given to you as 0.5, right, which is actually 1 by 2. And also, also the relative lowering in vapor pressure is equal to the mole fraction, right? So what we can say from here that this 2 by 5 into IE is actually equal to 1 by 2. Right? This is what we get. So, what we understand from here that IE is going to be equal to, okay, there's one correction that we can make here. That is the Van Toff factor, right? Now, the Van Toff factor will only be multiplied with the number of moles of solute and not with the number of moles of solvent, right? Because the solute only dissociates, right? And gives the Van Toff factor, not the solvent. Therefore, this will be NB into I, NB into I, right? So, this is what we are going to get. So, therefore, there will be a correction here as well. So, what we will be getting? We will be getting 2I divided by 2I plus 3 is equal to 1 by 2. So, from here on solving, we will get I is equal to 3 by 2, which is equal to 1.5, right? This is going to be the Van Toff factor, okay? Now, you have the Van Toff factor. Now, I is equal to 1 plus N minus 1 into alpha. Right? From here, we can find out the degree of dissociation. Sorry, a degree of dissociation is actually given to us, which is 50%, which will be 0 0.5. So, from here, what we can find out? The number of moles, right? So, this will be equal to 1.5 is equal to 1 plus N minus 1 into 0 0.5. Okay? So, when we will solve this, okay, when we will uh, solve this, we will get or directly what we can say is that on 50% dissociation, right, if the dissociation is taking place 50%, which means that the number of moles, the number of moles of Cl minus ion are going to become half, right, so initially there were two moles. So, there will be half of it which is equal to 1. So, only 1 mole of Cl minus will be precipitated, right? 1 mole of Cl minus means that only 1 mole of AgCl is going to be precipitated and this is given to you in option number 1, right? Because the dissociation is 50%, right? Because the dissociation is 50%, this is what we get, okay? This is what we get. So, the correct answer is option 1. That's all for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.